When we talk about sharpening, what we're really talking about is, is bringing a back edge of a blade or a plain iron to a polish and then polishing the bevel. That way those two planes intersect at a sharp point. Now to get there, we use an abrasive. And those abrasives can vary between wet dry sandpaper, uh, water stones, oil stones, a wide variety of abrasives you can use. Today I want to talk about water stones. When you purchase water stones, you can find them in a variety of grits from very coarse all the way up to 10, 12, 15,000 grit for a fine polish. Now, if you want to save a little money, you can buy a dual stone that has two grits, a different grit on each side. When you purchase a stone, please read and follow the directions from the manufacturer on how to care for your stone. These two stones here require a little soaking in some water uh, before you use them. Now, this stone here is a ceramic water stone and the manufacturer just recommends you just keep the surface wet. It doesn't need to be soaked. I use a spray bottle for that. The first thing you need to do with any medium like this is to make absolutely sure that it's flat. If the stone isn't flat, then the cutting edge that you're trying to sharpen isn't going to be straight. So the first requirement is to flatten the stone. And to do that, I use what's called a flattening stone. It's got a coarse abrasive on it, and it's specifically designed to bring the tops of the stones nice and flat. Now to use a flattening stone, you want to make sure you've got plenty of water lubricating the stone, and you're just going to work the flattening stone on top and just periodically take a look and see how you're doing. And I've got a nice even color all the way through, so I think that one's done. So I'm going to go ahead and do these, and then we'll come back and talk a little bit about how to actually sharpen a blade. Okay, now that my stones are flat, I can start sharpening my blades. Now, for a plain iron, or for any blade actually, uh, whether it's a chisel or a bla uh, plain iron, you want to make sure the first step of any sharpening process is to make sure the back is polished. That way you know that the back is uh, all in the same plane, it's nice and straight and smooth so that when you polish the bevel, you've got a nice sharp edge. So that's a one-time one operation. You only need to flatten the back uh, when you first obtain a, a, a blade. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you the process of going through and polishing the backs. Now this chisel is already pretty flat from the factory, but I'm just gonna put a little polish on it. And then I wanna show you how I use a, a freehand technique to sharpen the bevel. Now to sharpen the, or to polish the back of the iron, I'm gonna turn my stone so it's parallel with the edge of the bench. I'm gonna put all my pressure down right on top of the bevel and use this hand just to guide it back and forth, making sure I'm not lifting up on the back of the blade because I don't want the, the edge of that cutting, that cutting edge to be rounded at all. So that's the process of flattening the back, and I'm gonna do this through all the grits until I get a nice, nice polish. And I can do the same thing with a chisel. Now a chisel is a little bit trickier because you've got a lot more leverage out here, and the tendency is to lift up on this handle, and you don't really wanna do that. But the process is the same. I'm using my right hand, to uh, grab the sides of the chisel, and I'm putting all the pressure down right above the bevel, and giving that back a nice polish. Again, making sure you don't lift up on the back of the chisel. So I could do that all the way through my grits to whatever degree of polish you want. I like to polish my blades to the point where I can see myself in them. To polish the bevel, I use a freehand technique. What that involves is just basically placing the blade down on the stone so that the heel is on the stone and then you just rock that blade up until you feel that, until you feel that bevel click. And then you could just put all the pressure down right on that bevel. And again, I'm using my right hand to guide the chisel back and forth, I just go back and forth across the stone. 
and you just keep checking your progress. What you want is a, an even polish all the way across the cutting edge. And you progress through the stones again, just like you would finer and finer stone. Now when you get to the finest stone, you've polished the bevel. It's common practice to put what's known as a micro bevel or a secondary bevel on the blade. And all that involves, once you've got the main bevel sharpened, you just, now you can lift up just a couple of degrees and go back and forth, maybe 10 strokes. And you're actually forming a secondary bevel right at the cutting edge that creates the finest edge you can get. And it's usually much stronger than just polishing the main bevel. So that's all there is to sharpening. And it's when you're using a chisel or a plain iron and you need to touch it up, all you need to do is come back to your finest stones, work your way through them, and then finally is touch up that secondary bevel. Now the last thing I want to point out is as you're sharpening the bevel, sometimes you get a burr uh, that forms on the back from the steel that is uh, rolled over as you're sharpening. So you just take your finest stone and you make one stroke making absolutely sure that the back is flat on the stone. Just pull it back and that should remove the burr and then you should be ready to go.